Hi math friends, today we're looking at the story of a graph. So there's some things that we need to remember about a graph before we get started. Uh, specifically the axes first. So remember that the x-axis is horizontal. That means that it goes from left to right. The y-axis we have to remember is vertical. That means that it runs from top to bottom. Uh, slope, that's going to be a new term for us. Slope describes how a graph behaves, and we can think of the word behaves as moves from left to right. So just like we read a book from left to right in English, it's going to move from left to right on a graph. So Let's look really quick at x-axis. So the x-axis is going to be here. Y-axis is going to be here. Uh, a graph that we can see can have any lines. It can have curves of any sort. We're going to see how to explain this, again, moving from left to right. So when we look at these, um, these are some types of slopes. A positive slope moves from left to right. We never move from right to left. We go, we start at the left side and go right. So this is going up. A negative slope going from left to right is moving down. And see how these slopes are angled too. More positive slopes too. Um, we can draw some more on here. So this would be a positive slope. And if I look carefully at this red line, it's slowly going up. This one is steeper, so it's going up quicker. Um, I can draw another one that's going even quicker. So this one is even steeper. Uh, negative slope. If I draw a negative slope like this, this line is steeper than this one. So this is going, is going downwards quicker. So we need to look at those when we're looking at a story of a graph. Uh, zero, again, from left to right, it's just flat. So either something's not changing here or something's not moving. Uh, you can really only draw a zero slope like that. It shouldn't be going up or down um, diagonally, anything like that. Undefined, um, this would be completely vertical. This cannot happen in many of our situations. Um, it would mean that we're like doing, we're in multiple places at the same time. Um, and this one really can't happen. So we're probably not going to see this one in our stories, but we need to be aware of it. All right, let's look at the story of a graph. So look at what the axes are. The x-axis says time. The y-axis says distance from home. So distance from home. So anything about that carefully. So if I'm zero distance from home, that means that I'm at home. If I'm more than zero distance from home, so any of these times over here, that means that I'm not at home. So like right here I'm at home, and right here I'm at home. All right, so make the story of a graph easy for us to write. We're gonna first look at our slopes. So remember from left to right, right here, this first part is moving up, this is positive. And then the slope changes here. So from left to right, this is going downward, so this is negative. And then again, this last one from left to right, this is going up, so this is positive. So I'm gonna write a simple story for this one to get us started, and I'll we'll do these in colors, and I'll do three sentences because there's three different types of slope here. So distance from home is zero. So we'll say I started walking from my house to the park. And again, this is blue positive, so away from home because we start at home at zero. All right, then we have this uh, one that I denoted with a green negative because it's a negative slope. So from here, going back here, they're gonna reach home here. So I'll write something like, I forgot my cell phone, so I went back home to get it. 
And important that it says went back home because right here it touches the bottom. It touches zero, so that means that this person actually did go all the way back home. All right, and then this last one in pink, positive. So we're going to say after I got my cell phone, I went to the park. So now their distance from home is increasing the whole time, so they're going away from home and they're going to their destination now. Let's look at this one. Um, again, look at the axes first. This says time and distance from home. So remember, if it says from home specifically, that means that here at zero, this would be home. But look where this starts. This starts away from home. Okay, and let's look at the slope. There's only one slope in here, and if I'm going left to right, this is going downward, so this is negative. All right, so I only have one sentence or one thing to write about here. We can say, um, I walked home from a friend's house. And we're gonna keep these stories simple right now to help us understand better how, how each part of these work. So just with this negative slope, I walked home from a friend's house. At the end here, from remember from left to right, it ends at zero, so it ends at home. One last one for us to look at. Again, look at the axes carefully. We have time, we have distance from home, and let's look at what kind of slopes we have here. Left to right here, this is a positive slope. Okay, and then it changes right here in the middle, right? So here, this, this looks like it's flat. It's not going up or down, so this is a zero slope. And then at the end, left to right going up, this is another positive slope. All right, so let's say for our first sentence, I started to walk to the store. And then with a zero slope, see that the distance isn't changing. The time changes because time is always passing. So the distance doesn't change. They don't, they don't go back home. They don't move towards the store here. So since the distance, the distance does not change, we can say, I stopped to take a break. So maybe the person got tired. Um, maybe they just wanted to check something on their phone. Maybe they even stopped in an intersection. But to just put this simply, we're just saying, I stopped to take a break. You can make your story more elaborate as you learn these better and as you want to embellish more and be more creative. Okay, the last slope, so this is positive. So I continued and went to the store. So that's how we would describe each part of that graph there.